Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to Kai's DIYs, the show where I show you how to make your own little props and nifting things. And today I just got a little quick project and it was more of a new idea that I had. And uh, this is just a little series I'd like to call just a side project. It's, uh, it's basically just a little thing where I show you how to make little things like little art pieces or just other little knickknacks or whatever just on the side while I'm working on my bigger projects and to also give you more content and so you're not waiting so long uh, because I, I know my upload schedule is very very bad so I would just like to show you how to make this little awesome piece that I had and I want to know your thoughts on this show and I'll talk to you after the video To start the project, some supplies I needed were some leather string, toothpicks, I had used more in case I messed up, which I did a few times, a popsicle stick, some broken headphones I had lying around, Mod Podge, some leftover foam core poster board from the Cloud Sword build, some acrylic paints, tan, hippo gray, light and dark yellow, orange, purple and black, white, silver, and I'll be using some more, so some fabric, red and blue, and I didn't have orange and purple, so I had to improvise with white. I had an old pill bottle, and I just took the cap off from it and used that. Some 3D puffy paint, and last but not least, the turtles, which I got as a prize from an arcade. I first took the foam core poster board and glued my mains piece onto another scrap piece, and once it dried, I trimmed off the extra and cleaned up the rough edges. After that, I took the pill bottle cap and traced it in the center of my main piece and cut inside the line. I cut the top circle out and set it aside to glue in later. I then took the hippo gray paint and painted the whole base and on the sides. Once it dried, I just made little dots on the base with tan, white, silver, and some black mixed in with the gray to make it look more like mixed gravel. After that I took some of the light yellow paint and made the dash lines on the road. I wanted to make it more broken up and aged. In some areas of the lines I splotched it. After it dried I took the Mod Podge and basically padded the whole area of base with it. And this will give it a rough texture. Then I dry brushed most of the surface with dark gray and mixed gray with white and that helped me make it look more aged and worn down. I set that aside and worked on the top of the cap, which will be the manhole cover. By using some puffy paint and drawing what you'd see on a manhole cover, then I let it dry overnight. Once it dried, I painted over it with mixed gray and white paint, and painted the sides. After that, I mixed up some red, brown, and yellow paint mixed with a little bit of blue to make a rust color and lightly dabbed it on. Some areas were more heavy and the rest were just kind of dusted. I also touched up some of the raised areas with the silver paint and gave it more detail and went back over it again with some gray. I glued the circle of foam into the cap and glued it into place. Time for the turtles. I have four turtles and they each have their own unique design. From what I researched from the old 90s TMNT movies, Leo and Mike have a smooth shell design and Donnie and Raph have swirls on their shells. To make each of their holsters and belts, I used the leather string. For Donnie, I measured and glued a strip of leather around his body and cut another strip that comes over his shoulder. Mike and Raph have the same belt, I just glued a strip around their waist. Leo's is similar to Donnie's, but two straps come over his shoulder instead of one. So I just cut a strip in half and cut the length over his shoulder. For their weapons, I just took a toothpick, cut off the ends, and sanded where they've been cut. And that was Donnie's staff. For Mike, I cut some shorter pieces from another toothpick and used super glue to attach the headphone wires to them. And that was the nunchucks. They were very flexible and the glue's bond was strong. Leo's swords were drawn on the popsicle stick and cut out. Originally, I wanted to do the same thing with Raph's size, but they were too small and they kept breaking when I cut them. 
so instead I used the ends of the toothpick I cut off. I used brown paint for the staff, the handles of the size, and the tips were being silver. Leo's swords were painted brown and the nunchuck handles too. For their masks, I cut small strips of each of their colored fabrics and super glued them to their heads. Starting at the nose, then worked my way around their head and left extra fabric going along the back of their head. I took a little fabric and rolled it into a ball and glued it to the back of their heads so it makes it look like it was tied. I used red for Raph and blue for Leo. Earlier I said I didn't have orange and purple, so I had to improvise by using orange and purple paint on white fabric. Once it dried, I glued Donnie and Mike's mask on them. I super glued one of Mike's nunchucks to the back of his holster and hot glued another to his hand. Donnie's staff was super glued to the back of his, Leo's swords were hot glued onto the back of his, and Raph's eyes were hot glued onto his hands. One final detail was the paint the eyes on their mask and then I could place the turtles on the base wherever I needed. After finding where I'd like for them to go, I hot glued them to the surface. As a final detail, it was optional, but I took an electrical piece, which I think was from a microwave, I like to salvage parts, and it was a small electrical fuse that was in it, and it made me think of the TCRI canisters that they use. I just wanted the ends, and if you're able to find a clear body fuse instead of a plastic body, that would be your best bet, you can get them individually for like 89 cents. It was a kind of dangerous process, but I pretty much just used a vice grip and broke the fuse into pieces. Uh, I'll still settle for this though. I took a sharpie and tried making the TCRI label on both ends, then I used hot glue to make the ooze. And I just sloppily placed it all over the mantle cover and glued the pieces down. And I mixed some green and blue paints to make an aquamarine turquoise color and painted the glue. And that was it. And we made the final product, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as Turtles, finding the TCRI canister on a street corner. I uh, want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Uh, maybe if you're going to go build it, or maybe if you have a new spin on ideas, maybe why don't you send me a photo in, on my email or on my Twitter or my Facebook. Whatever you want, it's all very appreciated. Uh, I'd like to ask you all to subscribe. Subscribing is what makes me do more of these things. And leave a comment down below telling me what other products you'd like to see me do. Maybe big projects, maybe small projects. Maybe um, criticize my artwork. That's always helpful. And then be sure to follow me on my Facebook, my Twitter. You'll find it all linked down in the description below. And I've also set up a Patreon, which you can donate as little as a dollar a month to me. Or if you want to send me more and get rewards while doing it, and also do a lot more fun stuff in the process, then you can head over to my Patreon, link down in the description. And I will see you when I come out with another video. I really don't know when, but uh, i like to thank you guys for watching, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I mean, running this channel has been a lot of fun lately. And, um, yeah. Just do your thing, and I'm doing mine. And have a good day.